Woohoo! Alright, welcome, welcome. This is VCQ. Welcome back to my Dark Souls 1, Soul Level 1 run. Uh, last episode knocked out Quilag, rang the second bell. So, before I go through Sand's Fortress, oh, I was going to go get the Master Key, I think. Yeah, that's right. Get the Master Key from Domol. And then we'll go to Sen's Fortress. At least I'm pretty sure Domhol has it. Alright, we'll give these guys a bit of a whack. Definitely use a bit of overkill here. Get us a bit more souls, so that we don't have to pop as many. I mean, it's minuscule, but it adds up. Kind of close. Alright. And this time around... Oof, that was a bit rough. Alright. Backstab for you. And this time around, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted... But I have now forgotten... He's happy up there. He went splat. Just one of these should do. Plenty, plenty. Oh yeah, this time around, we're hoping to clear out Sense Fortress and the Iron Golem, and that's probably about it for today. There we have it, the Master Key. Thank you. I am you. All right, off to Sense. In case you're wondering, if I didn't have the Master Key as a starting gift, what did I have? I had the Tiny Beings Ring. I mean, you do get it with Sigmire, but it's not always... Depending on which way you progress with him, it's not always guaranteed. And you can always unlock the doors, but you can't always get more health. So I was like, that's what I want. More health. Uh-oh. It's going to swing back. Okay, these guys do hit like a truck. Oof. Um, most of this shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to waste, I'm hopefully not going to waste too much time on the Titanite Demons. If you're a newbie, yes, there are Titanite Demons around here. No, I will not show you. But I do want to get the Giants for the Chunks. I'd 
I'd rather take that. Oh, crap. Thought a third one would get him. Not today. Two large Titanite shards. They're really gaining all the fragments now. And the easiest way to deal with this guy is just to chill out here. Just let the boulder do the work. Alright, that's not good. Just beautiful. That never gets old. Okay. If you didn't speak to Sigmire the first time, you can speak to him here. Hmm. Forgive me. I am Sigmire of Python. Or a bull. I am afraid. So here we might be. And so he sits and thought. Alright, we'll wait this part out. We're going to get one of my favourite rings, the Ring of Steel Protection. Okay, that was not part of the plan. And that is definitely why you always have a bit of extra health. Let's equip that right now. We still need to save that one Estus. guys like this Look, I'm not getting paid for this so I don't need to be doing more work than I have to yeah that's fair can get that item up there, but it's not necessary. Not yet, anyway. And we're just going to wait here for a little bit. Actually, we can get rid of the Mimic while we wait. It actually has a lot of health. Lightning Spear is no good to us. Okay, one more. And if you haven't seen it, there's a little bit of magic. I 
secret ring. So a covetous gold serpent ring will help you get more of a chance of finding an item. Very useful when you're hunting for a specific item. And now we can proceed. We only have one Estus. Sorry, no Estus. That's a bit rough. That's all right, we'll manage. Get those boulders out of our way. And at that point, we could go back down or we could go back up. up the other ramp really doesn't matter this one you got to run straight through um, I'm gonna take on this guy here first okay good didn't get trapped let's get rid of this guy next but not least, you. Okay. A little bit of patience. More shards. Only got five of them. Definitely thought I had more than that after going through Blight Town. That upsets me. But that's okay. We can do it. We can do it. So we can skip the Snake Boy. Come back to everyone else in a moment. And I never found this until a few playthroughs. This whole area is so much more bearable. Okay. Beat him bloody and to a pulp. That time, I had the element of surprise. The flamestone plate ring is quite nice. I value it for Lost Isolith, where if you use that bit of flash sweat and the gold hemmed black dress I'm not sure if it's called that but yeah that set you can get very good fire resistance you can sort of make it across the lava without dying too quickly another two shards right we've got a bit of side questing to do here but first let's bump this guy on the head does stagger. Alrighty. This guy is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's see if we can get lucky. He might kill me. Oh dear. That was not the way that was meant to go.
just waiting. Oh no. You little tease. He's like, yeah, 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 you can do that. And then I'll just parry you on the last hit. Not gonna lie, that upsets me. It upsets me a little. What a tease. All that acting. Uh, Alright. Uh oh. He seems way too hard for just 800 souls. Alright, it's payback. Cheeky little prick. Gonna keep jump attacking. Or almost jump attacking. There we go. Parry that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Divine Blessing. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Okay, we got some consumables. I mean, the ring's consumed, but I don't consume it. Sort of. The ring consumes itself. Probably a bit more accurate. Um, just thinking. Let's get. Oh no. Is that death? No, it is not. There's a second one in there. Nope, we left him for dead. Okay. There is still the ring and the giants. Mm. Do we want the giants? Not necessarily the ring, though. Let's get the key first. Not again. Normally I'll line it up. I'm just a bit impatient. I do like that, that little bridge. Pretty clever. That is worth it. None of these are usable. Spellstone plate ring and the thunderstone plate ring, I do rate. The thunder one is a bit more niche. There's not that many enemies that dish out th thunder, or oh, sorry, lightning damage. 
Whereas the spell one, definitely great for the Duke's archives. Speaking of thunder, one of the rare enemies that can do it. You've also got the Sanctuary Guardian, Ornstein, the Wyverns, or Drakes, whatever you want to call them. And... You've got the Batwing Demons, and then I think finally... One of the giant weapons, the giant halberd, maybe? I actually think I might pop one. I'll get the spell one. Go along, try and make something. But Poppycock. What are you doing down here? The slumbering could be necessary, so I will pick it up. Oh my goodness. Two giants. I'm not sure if this one just here drops one. Let's find out. want these three humanity back, so we're going back. And believe it or not, chunks aren't that easy to get, so... Don't worry, Buster, you're next.
a chunk. Nay. Absolutely nothing. That's kind of nice. At least from here you can sort of see that. Well, it does mean that the cage key is out of bounds. Okay, so before we deal with the Iron Golem, we're going to deal with that other giant. And we're going to get the shortcut. Okay, let's get the shortcut. Giant, giant, giant. He should be somewhere about here. Now let's not die the first thing we do. There's the first bell. And there's the highly prized sought after Titanite chunk. Um Yeah, we'll take it take a bone back. the other giant. You do want to get this one because oh I could have just rolled off taking the taking the shortcut. Uh I was not thinking. However, but you do want to get rid of this one up here, wherever he is. Where are ya? Oh, I gotta go up. Because he will hurl boulders.
And that's what we were waiting for. Another chunk and some more souls. I would have thought that if you had gotten him to destroy these boulders, there was something hiding, but there apparently isn't, so... That is on me. And then here we have this tower. Which, fuck knows why it's here. And what value it adds to the game. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess that's value. All I did was be a little careless and walk straight off the edge. But anyway, let's take on the Iron Golem now. I mean, in my defense, I am sort of tired. Okay. Like, there's nothing here. So why is it here? I don't know. Questions to be answered. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna try and trip him over. Let gravity do the work, but... said, you know your strategy? Fuck you and fuck that. Alright, fine. We'll have an old-fashioned brawl. Quite the long rest, buddy. Victory achieved. We can go back with the cage key. Free Logan. There's no incentive to do so. Or is there? Uh, no, I don't think there is. A single incentive. No. There is the 10,000 souls sitting in one of the cages, though. That is quite nice. So we should go there just for that. But we do have 50k souls. At this point, they should be saved for the giant blacksmith.
well. Welcome to the Lost City. If you seek, exit here. If you want, what follows there? Hmm, what is it? What am I? If not for me, a gatekeeper. The bonfires are tech. They are linked to one another. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames. If you require rest, that it's a bit kind of weird. They're all connected, but they they never see each other. Um, now I don't have. Yeah, that's not my firekeeper because I haven't rescued her yet. If you can. And we can just chill out here. And next time, I'll be going through an Orlando. And the idea is to get up to ONS. Um, yeah, should be able to beat Lautrec. We might take on... Actually, no, it's a bit too early to take on Gwendolyn. Yeah, we'll beat ONS first. We'll get up to ONS. Then maybe see if we can beat ONS. But I might... I strongly suspect I'm going to have to backtrack, get the large ember, upgrade my weapon just a little bit more. But we'll see. Any questions, queries, or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, hope you've enjoyed watching. Cheers.